to fast track pega so today we'll see uh, page methods in the activity okay so so first we'll see the page name okay so usually uh, before that i'll define on any class pages and classes here so let's take a something like this I will step page I pass it as a CMP so basically page name what it will do is if there is any page which already exists with the name of M EMP page so it wipe off the those data that means it will clear off clear off those data and it will create new page uh, here so page new basically it does uh, uh, what like uh, clearing all data which already if there is exist with the same name and it will, at, and it will create new page with the name of EMP okay then we have <coughs> next we have <coughs> page copy so let's see how page copy so let's say uh, if there is any value uh, if there is any uh, values are if there uh, if you want to copy this complete page into some other page so you can go uh, with the page copy option so let's go we we have we'll add one more temp page here temp page so as of now I'll define the same class okay and if we expand this page copy right so we have method parameters method parameters so one is copy from copy into and data on some pages this is any of we not are not required as of now so page copy is a like a copy into is a mandatory field copy from is it's not a mandatory so that means if you give step page here so it will copy the same step page or else so what is our step page temp page right so you directly can pass this step page here if you pass here you need not to define copy from so or else you can also directly you can uh, keep your copy from and copy to so copy into this and copy from is emp so from this page this page uh, from this page to this page i need to copy data so before that we'll add one property set something so property set okay so let's say something like name name and take it tennis okay i'm just setting some values so just run this activity open up tracer Okay. Before that, make sure your pages are not present or not in your trace. let's run okay see <coughs> this is a step one like page name so that we have created a EMP page and then we set some property the property set so
Okay, we just don't find this box like this. Okay. Print line two. See, the name we set it to uh, Dennis, right? Now go to your um, page copy. See here uh, in the EMP page, we have Dennis. If you go in the temp page, temp page also, you can see the value that means we just copied whatever there in the emp page that we have copied into a temp page okay let's say as of now we have seen uh, like us uh, uh, copying single value let's say if you want to copy like a page list property like values like a list of values if you want to copy how you can do it so let's say open your so we have a currently we have some six uh, seven records we do have so if you want to copy all these records how we can go so just comment out this all okay for now go to pages and classes define this all classes for now So what I'll do, I'll add some four pages. List, four tiger list. Okay. This is the students. This is the students. Same thing, I will create one more page with the same page. Dark books, results. Okay. So we have created two class uh, like the pages. Uh, one is um, employee page and employee pages and temp pages. Let's do I have page list to define. So basically what we need to do, uh, we need to copy all the records, uh, is all the records. But first what we need to do is, we need to browse those records, right? So OBJ browse, you can, if you don't know, you can see my previous video. So there I have defined like uh, in detail, like OBJ operations. Okay, so as OBJ browse need not required any step page. Okay. So we are keeping on the page. So this is a class with the so PPS data. Okay. Okay. So just run this whether the records are there in our uh, <coughs> employee page or not we'll see for now before that uh, we don't have our page right just define page settings emp Clear this, run it again. 
go to widget terms employee screen okay you can see all the seven records here right so we have all the seven records let's copy this all records into our uh, temp page page okay go here I just want to do this parent loop it on the record so for each embedded page cross all the employee list list results okay and one child Here is the page copy. Okay. So let's find this. So when you like a uh, copy from, it will take this uh, employee page list only. So into where you need to pass this, that you need to define. Where you need to pass. So that is. Okay, results. We need to append these values. Okay, done. Save. So let's just check, we'll run and check whether it is co the values are copied or not. So, so, run. Yeah, it is copied. See, you can see all the records were uh, there are seven records, seven like instances have been copied. If you go here and define, if you check your temp page list. See, you can see all the seven records so that has been copied from employee page list. So, employee page list having a uh, total seven results. The seven re results also has been copied into ten page. So, this is how you can uh, do copy when you having page list values. Okay, we have other. Uh, other methods also let's do some page page remove we have so page remove what uh, the dip if you want to remove all the pages that you have defined so you can simply define uh, like remove this see so you can have multiple pages so you can have This way you can uh, remove all pages at one time. So and whenever you are using a page remove rate, right, it is compuls like uh, you need to make sure the step page is compulsory because if you if it is a blank right, so it will remove your clipboard itself. <coughs> so clipboard page. So so it's a bet best practice to have this uh, step page per page remove. Okay. Then we have page set message. So page set message is what it will do. If you want to set any party, let's any message on your page. So you can simply use this. Okay. So message you can set something direct. Okay, let me just do click here so you can see the preset. So you can see the error. The message.
this part I will make it eight in. So this is purpose. We use page set message. We have. Page clear message. The set messages we can clear using page clear uh, messages. We don't have any method parameters. Okay, and we have page uh, rename. So page rem sorry, rename. So if you want to rename your step page like a page name, let's say as of now it is in EMP page. So if you want to rename that, so you can use the page, uh, page rename rule. So you can pass this step page as a EMP page. The new name you can keep it as a EMP like. So it will change this EMP page to EMP. And we have other methods. Page unlock. The page unlock uh, what it will do if there is any locked instances on uh, has been acquired in your page so it will simply it will remove those uh, locked instances so this it will unlock so even this app don't have any method parameters I think yeah, no method parameters okay this is uh, uh, what uh, so we are not defining so this is all page methods okay thanks for watching if you have any doubts uh, you can post in the comments i am happy to assist you so in the next video we can see some other uh, methods in activity thanks thanks for watching